Hi, before we get started in this video, um, I made this video from watching other YouTubers. Uh, and if you are a woman, um, you can definitely enjoy this video. But I also found uh, the YouTube channel Coffee and Bible uh, very helpful uh, if you're a woman um, looking for another woman to uh, look and uh, is a Christian. Um, but of course, my channel is for men and women. But I just wanted to give a, an example of a YouTuber uh, who is uh, a woman as well. And, uh, you know, I would say other women, you should also learn from other Christian women, um, both older to, older and younger. But uh, anyway, I got this video from Coffee and Bible and other YouTubers who explain their morning routine. seen some other Christians doing some videos about their morning routine or afternoon routine or basically day routine so basically um, when I wake up um, sometimes um, I would pray right in the morning but um, the Jewish people they do a prayer in the morning and in, in the evening the first prayer is the Shema and the Shema goes like this hear O Israel the Lord our God, the Lord is one. And you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind and with all your strength. And then I think I also skipped a line in there. Um, and and um, But you can Google the Shema. Um, I usually say it like that, but I think I do accidentally uh, skip one of the lines in the Shema. So not purposefully. It's just I'm trying to, still trying to remember, memorize it. Um, but then the next thing I do is I listen to an audio Bible um, and then I, I listen to an audio um, um, verses about the kingdom of God. Um, and then I'll, I'll usually listen to the Ten Commandments. And again, we're only saved by Jesus. But just so I know that, you know, kind of a guide of, you know, if I'm doing anything wrong um, and then. You know, I'll, I'll usually try to make a video um, or something that I'm sharing my my belief in Jesus. So that's a little bit of my routine um, for the morning. And then so in the in the afternoon, you know, I'll make breakfast. Um, I, I'll usually, uh, you know, um, have something playing that is productive, uh, like a. Uh, um, a, a video that, you know, is something educational, you know, something that I can improve myself or uh, um, improve others, help help myself help others. Um, and then that's around probably like 10 a.m. or so. Um, and then sometimes I'll like play pool with my dad. Uh, you know, we had, we are, my dad has a pool table. So well, sometimes I'll do that. Or um, I will go outside and play basketball or, uh, you know, probably, um, you know, do, do something maybe in the garden. Um, and then so that's around maybe noonish or so. And then, you know, I usually try to do fitness in the evening. Um, and then I, of course, you know, the little things like taking vitamins, I'll do that in the morning. Uh, you know, the basics like brushing teeth, shower, things like that, of course. Um, and then those are kind of a given uh, every morning. And then um, so probably around one o'clock to uh, three o'clock, I'm, I'm doing some sort of work, um, something that, um, you know, um, I work sometimes for my family or, um, you know, I'll work through probably YouTube. But my main job um, outside of maybe a pandemic is uh, uh, Instacart. Uh, it's grocery delivery. Um, and then I, I also have a small business of my own that I'm trying to grow, but it's like a micro small business. Like it's, it's just in the baby stages. Uh, but anyway, I have a grocery store delivery uh, uh, job. And then um, towards the evening, I'll probably try to start kind of relaxing a little bit maybe not do things that are sort of taxing on my my brain or my body um but definitely doing fitness you know for sure is in the evening and then um you know kind of uh, do 
and then all throughout the day. So from morning till evening, I'm getting in something, something with the Bible. So sometimes I'll take out time to study the Bible and make notes. Um, but it's not like I just listen to the Bible in the morning and then go throughout my day without even doing anything. So throughout the whole day, you know, I'm making an effort to do an audio Bible, to read the Bible. You know, um, I, I can mix it in with work, you know, while driving, um, trying to use my mouth to praise God, uh, to, to sing about God. Um, and then, of course, prayer. We're supposed to pray throughout the whole day. And, you know, that's, that's some of the routine. So, um, you know, definitely, um, you know, the reason I would share this video is because, um, you know, Christians are supposed to be one. We're, we're supposed to have uni unity. And we do. We do have unity. And so if I share my routine, you know, I can also hear from someone else's routine and, and refine and, and add to my routine or take away um, and... You know, I, I hope this video definitely helps anyone out there that is looking to kind of um, have a sort of a routine for their day. Um, but I think the most important thing is to remember that we are headed to the New Jerusalem. And so doing things throughout our whole day that is trying to um, make sure that we are being found by God in peace. So that means that we're doing the things that we need to be doing in order to be found by him in peace and having our light shining. So, you know, some people think that they only read the Bible maybe once a day or once a week. That's fine. I mean, if that works for you, but I know of people, of pastors, we're supposed to be like our pastors. I know of pastors that are, you know, constantly in the Bible studying and doing things like Tim Mackey, John Collins, you know, they make the Bible project uh, on YouTube. And Tim Mackey has said that he spent a lot of his time studying. And, you know, we're supposed to be like our pastors. And and so, you know, I think that we, we as Christians, we should um, increase our time with God, you know. And uh, I, anyway, I hope this video helps. Um, and thank you so much.